It's Caesar with the Food 52 Test Kitchen, and today I'm joined by a very special guest, Sophia. Thank you. Yoso. Thank you, Caesar. Uh, and you brought me a little present today. I did. I brought you a really special present. So, Crescenza Stracchino. Um, this is a fresh cheese, creamy, milky, tangy, deliciously spreadable. But I'm excited to see what you're going to come up with. I had some time to play with the Crescenza, and uh, I came up with this Crescenza and artichoke panzanella. Ooh, Maybe. I'm loving the colors and flavors and textures here. So what I really love about this panzanella, the creamy cheese really contrasts with the crusty bread. We have a lot of brightness from the vinaigrette and the crescenza yeah. itself also has a nice tang to it. I'm super <laughs> excited. Well, I like the compliments of flavors and whenever I eat, I eat with my eyes first. So this is very appealing and I, I'm ready to taste it. Let's do so it. So thank you. All right, Sophia, I'm gonna put you to work. A absolutely, <laughs> I'm, I'm ready to work. So I already uh, got some of the bread started, but if you want to cut the rest for me. So we're basically doing um, about an inch, two, inch and a half okay. slices. Does this look good to you, Caesar? A little thicker. A little thicker. Okay. All right. I like to, to slice first and then um, tear. And I love torn bread for things like panzanella because I just feel like all those like little craggly bits get nice. The nooks and, and crannies, nooks get, and crannies. get nice exactly. and crispy for us. Got it. Okay. And while you do that. Yep. I'm gonna work on our little vinaigrette. The artichoke hearts that we got today were just packed in water. You can find artichoke hearts that are already in a vinaigrette. I find that they're not always my favorite, but if you do have one that you really love, feel yeah, free to use that. Yeah, it's an option. So I have our lemon. Oh, we're, gonna do, we're gonna do a little dance. This oh, yeah, <laughs> give me a minute, right? I'm excited to see zest. that new tool you've got there. Right? Oh my God, you're gonna love it. Next, we're gonna do the olive oil. I like, Vinaigrettes in general, I like them really bright, personally. Yes, yes. Do you agree? 100%. I feel like people go like too much olive oil and like not enough acid. I'm like, I want to feel that acid. I want it to. And it'll actually pair really well with the cheese because the cheese has a tangy note. So I think having a little mild olive oil and then the brightness of the lemon will really Amazing. help with the tangy notes of the crescenza. What is crescenza? So Crescenza Stracchino, okay, double name, amazing, literally comes from a region in Italy where the cows were tired, La Vacca Strata. The tired cows would come down from the mountain with this really rich, creamy milk, and that's where Crescenza Stracchino really comes from. So Vacca Strata means tired cow, and then Crescenza means crescere. So the nice thing about the cheese is when you bring it out, mm. it's got that creamy, buttery flavor and tangy notes. And if you let it sit, it actually spreads wonderfully. Yeah. So it's which it, we which we discovered. It's kind of ooey gooey. <laughs> yeah. No, it's very it's very ooey gooey and spreadable. So it's amazing. And in the, the salad with the crispy bread, I like the contrast of something soft mm. and creamy. Very very creamy. Great to spread on anything. All right. So we have our olive oil Beautiful. and our whisk, whisk, lemon whisk. juice. Yeah. Just get that nice and emulsified. Awesome. Or do we want oh, to get yeah. olive oil olive on the bread? Oil, yeah, yeah. Do drizzle salt. Yeah, let's salt. let's get some olive oil on here. A little drizzle. Beautiful. Oh, I'm gonna let you get right in there. <laughs> so just gonna pop this in the oven. Here I have some white wine vinegar. Yeah. And you, you mentioned that white wine is gonna pair really well with the crescenza as well, right? It's tangy again. Yeah. yeah. It, it helps with that nice tanginess. And just to like balance. And it's mild, a little sweet too, which I yeah. like. And speaking of sweetness, I, I always like to add a little sweet component to things like this. So I just have a little honey, not too much. It's not going to make it sweet. Yeah, yeah there we go. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> of course, we're going to add a good a amount of salt. 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 This could take more salt than you think. Uh, yeah. Well, also because we added that honey, right? Exactly. The sweetness of the honey. Yeah. Black pepper. Yep. Oh. <laughs> we're fancy. Yep. Okay. I like to do a little rosemary, not too much. Rosemary can be overpowering. Okay. But I think just a few leaves pairs really nicely with the, with the lemon and the honey. You see, it's, it's like literally like probably not even a quarter oh, of a yeah. teaspoon. Just, just a little. That's all you need. Yep. Yeah, I always like to just taste for, um, for balance. Yep. You know? yes. I think I want more acid. Yeah, it needs more. How do you feel? Yeah. Yep, very nice. I'll go check on that real quick. Sounds good. Is that okay? Oh, it's looking pretty good. These look great, Caesar. How's the marinade coming? I think we're better. This is how you cook at home too, right? You just I like know, taste, yeah. go, taste, go. Taste, go, and see where you need to go. Really nice. Oh, nice. Yep, really Perfect. lemony. Okay. Right, so and this will go great with the artichokes and the cheese as well. And you drained all the liquid. Yep. Because this is your own marinade. At least exactly. you can do it how you want it. And it's nice that the artichokes just in water. 
Yep. You can even do this overnight if you want to. Oh, that would and help the flavors. Really yep, the artichokes would really yeah. soak it in. Yep, that's great. Are we ready for our I think our we're ready radicchio? for the radicchio. Okay. I don't think I have your chef knife skills, but I'm going to try one and then I'd like okay. them to see. My knife skills aren't that um, no? strong either. <laughs> in the meantime, I'm going to put our bread in this bowl. Okay. This is also the great thing about doing it on parchment. Nice and yeah, easy. no clean, no cleanup. So what I like to do, Yep. I like to control how much of the marinade gets in here. Sure. So I start with a, something slotted. I'm going to stop here. Okay. In we go. Yep. That Almost, looks beautiful. Look so good. Tell me more about like just your family, your history. Like. So we moved here in 1979. My father had this vision to start an Italian cheese company. And one of the things he always says is how important memory and food is to, you mm -hmm. know, to creation. So with the memory of like what delicious cheese taste lo tasted like is the foundation of the company. So Wisconsin was chosen um, because of the proximity of the farmers to the cheese plants. Right. So we craft using our traditional Italian recipes, lots of heritage there. And then all the cheeses one by one are crafted by our master cheese makers. It's a, it's a, it's really a labor of love and you'll taste it in the flavors. It's fantastic to taste this cheese, but then there's a whole line. There's 28 choices wow. and then shredded, grated, I mean sliced. We do all sorts of things really to make it mm. convenient for the shoppers. Are you ready for the, I think we're ready. are you ready for let's it? Do it? All right, let's go. A little sprinkle. Beautiful. Yeah. Maybe a little just if you want. a little, yeah. A little bit more, okay. Oh, oh. I think just a little flat leaf parsley to finish it off would be really nice. Okay. I think you eat with your eyes before you, you put it in your mouth. So I think we have everything going. We've got all the colors, we've got the texture, mm -hmm. and I think the star of the show is gonna be the Crescenza Strachino with the creaminess. I think we're ready for her. Ready? Yeah. Oh. All right, so our Crescenza just came out of the fridge, nice and cold. Yeah, I think for this recipe, it's gonna be good because our bread's slightly warm and mm. it will start to melt. That's totally normal and what we expect. We actually package this in a tight package. And the reason is, is it's natural for it to have some of the juices. Mm -hmm. That's the way, and because it is an all natural product, you'll see that. Um, and the paper, see that beautiful way? Uh, that has a little bit of salt, a little bit of flavor, put, it's delicious. Oh, just throw it in our... Oh, that's a great there idea. <laughs> okay, beautiful, thank no you. No waste. <laughs> no waste, yeah, keep it all. We don't wanna miss out. It unwraps like a present. This is our gift to you. Crescenza Strachino. Beautiful. And then I think we can just chop it, but you can really see that texture. It's like Italian brie. It's like Italian, <laughs> it, uh, kind of. It has that same creamy, buttery texture, mm. and I'm keeping it rather large. Obviously, the smaller you go as it starts to melt, um, and then from here we can just go into smaller little tocchettini, <laughs> little, little, little bites. Yeah, these feel good. Good? Yeah. What All do you right. think? Nothing? Yeah, it looks beautiful. Yeah, a little bite size. Yeah. I don't know how you can put it in there without... I, I always know, have to I, do a little... I don't want to be rude. You but... can't. That's <laughs> the best part. But that creamy, buttery, tangy... But it tastes so fresh, too. It is so fresh. It is so fresh. Our master cheese makers are so proud of this cheese, and it brings you back to Wisconsin, to, mm -hmm. the, to, to the pastures in the mountains of Wisconsin. I don't, yeah, I, like, I don't, <laughs> when I think Ogioso, I don't think Wisconsin, which is really funny, but it makes sense. Yeah. When you said Wisconsin, I was like, oh yeah, that makes sense. Of course, that's where it needs to be. Here. A little by little. We do want the bread to soak it up. I really love that like crispy, gone soggy texture. Like that's my personal favorite. Yep. Just the right amount of dressing, yep. cheese, bread, radicchio. Beautiful. And artichokes, of course. Are we ready to plate? I think we're ready to plate. Oh, cool. I'm excited. Can I do the honors? Please. All right. We're going to make it happen. Here we go. Look at the little crescenza. A couple more, because trust me, this is going to be the part they want <laughs> They want to share with their bread. <laughs> Boop. Perfecto. Buon appetito. Buon appetito. That's what we say in Italy. So, of course, a little crescenza, a little, ooh, la la, just the perfect little yeah, summer what? bite. We say chin chin. Ding. <laughs> mm. mm -hmm. Yep, that works. <laughs> the creaminess and kind of the crispy and tangy. Mm -hmm. Delicious. Really nice job. Thank you. I love it. And I think the crescenza is still, it's still a star. I feel like it's kind of bringing everything together, actually. Thanks for watching. Thanks for cooking with me. Comment, like, subscribe. 
recipe linked down below on Food52 and... You can go to belgioyozo.com to find the product locator and find information about all of our cheeses and learn more about Crescenza. Thank you so much. Arrivederci. Thank Arrivederci. you, Caesar. Ciao.